<laughs> What's going on, Doom Clan? Scatman here back on the mic to bring you guys a triple DNA rampage by my boy Clues, tearing shit up, making these kids tap X. A solo triple DNA, that's insane. If we could hit like 400 likes on this gameplay, that would be amazing. That would be much appreciated. Out here grinding day in and day out for you guys to bring you the best pub stomping content in the community. But this is a little bit longer video today, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the patch before I get into the commentary. So with this new patch, I honestly think it like it went in such a good direction to save Advanced Warfare in my opinion that this game is so much more fun after this patch. If you guys didn't know, if you haven't played in a little bit, there was a major patch that was released on the systems where it nerfed the BAL and made kills 100 score in domination. That's absolutely huge because as you guys can see, he is just spamming his streaks, making these kids tap X. You know, score lines are going to go up, pub stompers are going to be happy. This game is more enjoyable now that, you know, vision, you don't, <laughs> you don't need to get like 9 kills to get a goddamn UAV or something like that. Now it's a little bit more better. You know, especially if you're playing the OBJ, you know, you can get the cap kills. It's 200 score for a cap in domination. That's pretty awesome. Now, if they could add that into momentum, that would be insane, dude. If you could get 100 score a kill in momentum, that would be just godly. Like, the score lines would just go super high. <laughs> but I'm happy about this. I'm glad they listened to the community with nerfing the BAL a little bit. You know, giving us a little bit more flexibility with pub stomping. Because I feel like pub stompers got the short end of the sick this year. I'm not going to lie. I mean, this game is insane from a sniper's point of view. Like, it's so... F like, it's so fun to watch sniping montages. They get all kinds of different options. And even the competitive was in the right direction. I just feel like we... I mean, it's going a little bit in the right direction now, but I just feel like in the beginning we got kind of shafted. But I'm glad they're listening to us and they're starting to change a few things up. So today I wanted... You know, I was watching Survivor last night and uh, it made me think of, you know, all the drama on the timeline, the Twitter timeline always popping with all... You know, there's always something going on, dude, in the community. And it made me think, like, if you guys could vote for any Call of Duty personality to appear on this show, you know, this Survivor Call of Duty theme show, who would you pick? If you guys didn't know what Survivor is... It's, you know, so pretty self-explanatory. It's a show that maroons a group of strangers in an isolated location when they must provide food, water, fire, and shelter for themselves while competing in challenges to earn either a reward or an immunity from expulsion from the game in the next or successive votes for elimination. While much more or less common than elimination by vote, medical conditions such as injury or infection have eliminated several contestants. The last two or three survivors face a jury composed of the last seven, eight, or nine players voted off. That jury interrogates the final few and then votes for the winner of the game, the title of Soul Survivor, and a million dollar prize. So that's essentially the rundown of the TV show. And I was thinking, you know, what personalities would make this show badass, dude? The funny thing is, like, these, like, we're all, like, Call of Duty nerds. Like, can you imagine us going to this abandoned island and trying to survive on our own? Like, <laughs> we would not last a week, dude. <laughs> but I, I, I'm I, pretty sure they're helped, you know. I'm pretty sure there's still camera crews and stuff. I don't, I don't know what goes on in the background on the actual Survivor show. So I was thinking of a combination of 10 players, you know, two different tribes, five people each. You know, they do challenges against each other. You know, the loser has to vote somebody off. That's the rundown of Survivor. And the 10 people that I got, I think would make a pretty good show. Let me know in the comments who you think, like, what people would you add or would you change somebody up on my list or who do you want to see on this show? And then we'll run it. You know, we'll run it by the TV producers, we'll make it happen, and then we'll make millions of dollars. Like, that's how it's going to work. So I got Jay Nasty. Nothing against Jay Nasty. I just think he's incredibly outspoken, you know, controversial. He speaks his mind. He's not. He doesn't bullshit around. If he doesn't like you, he doesn't like you. So I think he would make an excellent reality TV show uh, personality to appear on the show. Birdman. Another person that, uh, <laughs> you know, gives zero fucks on Twitter. And the community, you know, I, he's pretty funny sometimes. I think he could definitely add a great, you know, offset to 
Jay Nasty because they, they hate each other, I, I'm pretty sure, still. So I think that would go really well. My boy YUSMB. <laughs> Oh gosh, there's just so much I can say about why YSB and why he would make a great reality TV show contestant, dog. I think that would be hilarious. Sniper, my boy Sniper. Uh, you know, pretty... People have a lot of feelings about him in the community, I, I, I think. I think, uh... <laughs> He'd be he'd be fixing the he'd be fixing the vote, dude. He'd be <laughs> setting up the vote. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So I was thinking of some e-girls to add to this, but I don't really like talk to any of the e-girls in the community or follow them or you know give a shit about them. But I think Sniper Wolf would be a really big one because she tends to get into some drama every now and then. And Optic Jewel, everybody's favorite. I think that would be a pretty good duo for uh, add a little e-girl into the mix. Random sniper, you know, I was thinking we should have every part of the Call of Duty community represented in this show But I don't know any snipers that like start a lot of crap or like would make really good and like That people would even want to watch in a reality show. I don't really follow the scene. So You know, just let me know what kind of person. I'm sure you guys watch snipers more than I do uh, Aches yeah, dude's a fucking phenom. One MLG Columbus. I think he would be really good at masterminding behind people's backs, setting up alliances. You know, he, the dude likes to win. He loves to win. I think he would be perfect for a, a survivor type Call of Duty show. And my boy Scumpy, you know, representing the pros, those two. Scumpy's just a fucking beast, dude. I think it, like, I would love to watch him on TV. I'm not gonna lie. I love that guy. Either Scump or like Karma, you know, they could really, there's all, there's tons of picks, dude. Like there's tons of people that you could choose from. You know, Karma likes to go on blast or even Killa, never mind. Scratch those two, I want Killa, dude. Oh my God, yo. Can you imagine Killa on this show? Oh, I'm cracking up, dude. Just thinking about it, man. But essentially, that is the top 10 I would want. You know, you could add a little bit more, I'm sure. I think it's like 16 on the actual show that they have. But I, I couldn't think of that many people at the time. So let me know in the comments below if you would like if you would watch a Call of Duty Survivor theme show or do you think people could even last on these shows and who you would want to see on them. Tap that like button. Check out my boy Clues. He's a fucking beast. I think with this new change, he's going to be dropping triples like crazy. I think Clues is going to be going in with the triples. I'm not going to lie. I'll see you guys later on the Doom Clan. Support this video. I love you guys. Peace out.